y'all welcome back to the channel my ravens today i am bringing you the decades legacy challenge for another build if you're new to the channel thanks for joining my name is misty don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're into builds cast let's play and more this way you can join the raven family we would love to have you if you want to go ahead and hit that notification bell it will remind you every time a new video goes live on the channel it does help out the channel and it will also notify you so that you never miss any content that comes on the page. Anyhow, let's go ahead and jump in and start the build for this Decades Legacy save file. So first and foremost, let me just start by saying there is a reference photo up in the top left hand corner that you're going to see there. And that is the build that I am actually trying to build today. So it is a build that was built in 1915 and it is an actual build of a true house that was built in 1915 and that is the replica of the home that I'm actually trying to build today for our decades legacy save file. <clears throat> now this build is going to go into our world around that time frame of 1915. We are currently in 1913 just about a day before we enter into 1914 in our world. And so this house is going to be put into the world in 1914, 1915-ish. Um, and it is a home that we are going to um, have available for one of our children to actually be able to move into. But this is the goal here is um, for this house to look like that. And this roof... That I'm trying to build right now was a friggin beast so um, to try to make it look like that roof um, yeah what a nightmare um, but I am stubborn and was bound and determined to get it as closely resembling that as I could I mean obviously I'm not gonna be able to get it perfect um, our roofing system is less than ideal um, so I, I wasn't able to get that perfect, but I think overall, once it comes together at the end, it does look quite similar. Um, and I am quite pleased with it. Now the windows again, aren't perfect. Um, and you're going to see, I do kind of switch windows and kind of go back and forth. I can't exactly decide what kind of look I'm going for. I don't know in the beginning I'm like do I want it to look exact do I want to kind of change it up a little bit do I want to round things off um, and you'll see kind of I go back and forth and then in the end I do end up going with square windows but they do look a little bit different I end up actually using the um, organic um, CC pack um, by uh, Felix Andre, which I know that surprises you all because that is pretty much all I've been using in these builds just because they are rustic and I absolutely love that pack. So yeah, not surprising. Um, but that's pretty much what I end up settling on is that pack for windows and doors for this house. Um, this build looks completely different than every other build in this decades legacy save file the first homes um that were in oasis springs were very kind of um new orleans style i find this is actually kind of going more into um like farmhouse look so um yeah not even so much like farmhouse but more like maybe like barnish looking if that makes sense like <clears throat> down south layers like farmhouses that kind of make they kind of look like a barn this kind of reminds me of that so anyway this is me finally figuring out that i just need to stick with what i know and what i know is organic is the best <laughs> So I'm placing those windows, but I can't decide do I want the little ones? Do I want the big ones? And so I'm kind of figuring out what it is that I want here. Only I can't decide. So I do the best of both worlds and I pick both. 
<laughs> and now we're gonna head on and do some of the roofing um, like just finishing that up and then work on the landscaping and the outside I'm going to do that really quick and once we finish up some of the landscaping then I will be able to go ahead and go on the inside. So I'm actually just going to let you guys watch the landscaping in progress and then I will catch back with you guys when the landscaping is done and we will go over the inside. So enjoy the tunage and I'll be back. So I have finished the landscaping of the house and now I am just going to do a little bit of putting the finishing touches on the porch here, giving a welcoming mat, making sure there's a bench. I did put a little bathtub planter out there so that they can put some plants and now I'm going to go ahead and go in and we're going to put the walls up and decorate the indoors. So this house is a really tight squeeze and originally I was worried that there wasn't going to be enough room so I have added actually a extra room off the master bedroom so that there is at least a room for a nursery. So when you go in the front um, door there's like this little like breezeway and then you'll go through into the hallway there's like a sitting area. Um, and then there's um i've got myself turned around okay so you go in the front door and there is the living room and there's off to the side there a little sitting area for like the ladies so the ladies can sit in there and chat but the front living room area is for like the men to sit and have like their drinks then there is the main um, bathroom the only bathroom in the house 
There's a kitchen with a dining area, the main bedroom, as well as off the main bedroom, there is a um, room for a nursery. Um, obviously, because this is a house that is not being purchased, like I didn't fully decorate it. I did go ahead and put the seating stuff in um, the seating areas so that it you could see kind of what those rooms were meant to be. Um, just because this house was kind of like really crammed and so I was like you kind of can't really tell what everything is um, and I don't usually do that because I like to wait and decorate whenever I've found out who's going to be living there so that I can make their personality fit but because these rooms are kind of like a mishmash of <laughs> placement I was like I'm going to need to put something somewhere so I can figure out like what is this room kind of thing right so that's pretty much what I did so this room here is obviously the bathroom because that's where the bathroom stuff is and then this room with the plain <clears throat> tile um, is the kitchen so that is gonna be the kitchen and the dining room and then off the kitchen and the dining room there is the master bedroom and then off the master bedroom I end up putting a small nursery. There's a hallway that goes down the main portion of the house that leads you to the bathroom and the living room and the sitting room and then to the kitchen. Um, so you, you'll be able to see all of that. Um, but that's pretty much how you get, you gain access to everything is that main hallway. And it's open um, with breezeways. So there are no really doors. The only doors in this entire house really um, is for the bathroom and the um, master bedroom. They're the only ones that have like an actual door. Everything else has a breezeway. So um, this is the kitchen. I just went ahead and left everything pretty bare. They've got the stove and the sink and the fridge. That's pretty much it. I didn't do any decorating because again I don't decorate the houses. I let whoever's going to be purchasing quote unquote the house go ahead and do the decorating but I did go ahead and put a table in because I just wanted to make sure a table was going to fit in this room because if not I was going to have to extend the house a little bit further um, but a table did fit with four chairs so I thought that was going to be okay. Um, it, I mean it's a tight fit but it, I think it's going to be okay. Um, and then as you can see right off the kitchen there is the um, so see there is the living room there's the main door there that area with the breezeway here at the fireplace that I'm putting in that is the ladies sitting area so the ladies would go in there and they could sit and they could sit with their tea or whatever and um, or they could knit or or whatever they wanted to do but that would be the ladies sitting area and then the room with the um, front door would be the men's sitting area. So um, there's a bar in that room. And so the men would sit in there in their chairs and they would sit and chat. Um, and the ladies would have the ladies room where they can um, sit and they can chat. So they do have separate seating areas um, in this house. One for the ladies room, one for the gentlemen's room. And then their hallway down the middle bathroom, kitchen, master, and then the nursery. So that is pretty much how this house is set up. And honestly, because this house is on so much land, um, it could grow. So it could grow out, it could grow up. Um, so there is potential for this house to grow. But I was pleased with the fact that um, it turned out pretty pretty decently looking to the photo so I'm pretty pleased with that but I am gonna go ahead and leave this here so don't forget to like share comment hit the notification bell so you are notified when new episodes go live and I will see you guys in the next episode of the decades legacy challenge until then I'm going to fly for now bye y'all